think I've touched on a lot of this before, but uh, I mean, I wish I could see the crowd's face so that I could get a show of hands in terms of how many people are, have tools that both their legal team likes and their engineering team likes. My guess is that's going to be a pretty darn short list. Uh, and I think that's been one of the, 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 the most rewarding aspects of working with FASA is finding that tool that really does accomplish the needs of both organizations. Um, I think for the most part, it is either legal loves the tool, but it creates friction on the engineering team and they hate it, or engineering loves the tool, but legal really doesn't think that it has the robustness to, and the compliance aspects that are fundamentally needed for what uh, we need to accomplish. I know for me, it was one of the most important things when I walked into door. forget even just open source compliance, was making sure that the legal team was seen as a strategic partner, as somebody who was going to help people figure out how to get things done, not somebody who's going to help uh, create um, friction. And, and, you know, you never want to be the department of no as the legal team, even knowing that sometimes you do need to say no as the legal team. And I think FOSS has only further helped me and my legal team as a whole um, build, uh, build and reinforce that culture of like, we're here to help you get stuff done. We're not here to get in your way. We're not here to to, to make your job harder. We're here to make your job easier while fundamentally protecting the company. Uh, it is at the core ethos of everything we do on the Kodiak legal team. And this is a tool that has helped us buttress that. Uh, and again, I think that's a pretty significant rarity um, in a lot of the tools that, that companies across the valley use.